Holy mackerel! That's full speed. We're gonna fly through the trees! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing! That's exactly <laughs> That's exactly what I said I was gonna do. It's time. This is the swing wing version two video. Huh? Huh? Does it look good? First of all, <laughs> I figured out how to do color correction on DaVinci. Second of all, I got a camera. Also, I made this really cool shirt that I'll show you at the end of the video that I'm really excited about. So if you haven't seen it already, go watch the version one video where I made an airplane designed to fall out of the sky. And to do that, I designed a mechanism that could deploy and retract and deploy and retract and deploy and retract your wings. And the mechanism was awesome, but there were a lot of problems with it. One of them being power. The big dream for the last video was to go straight vertical, close the wings, drop to the ground, and then open them before I hit the ground, saving myself. Now, I was able to fly high, close them, and open them before I hit the ground, but this one, I want it to be powerful enough and light enough to be able to go vertical. Also, the last mechanism had a lot of implementations for, like, you know, a flying car or, like, a flying boat or something. So this one is gonna be a flying boat because you can take off on the grass and the water. And the big dream for this one, while this one will be able to go vertical, I wanna be able to have the wings closed on the ground or in the water, get it up to speed, and then once it's going as fast as possible, open the wings and just take off. Um, ignore it being destroyed, I actually took it to combat. Which I'll have a whole video on later. But the mechanism in here, is just way too heavy. It was super overbuilt, super robust. It actually survived the combat that I took it to. So we can definitely lighten this thing up. My idea, we're gonna have one servo, which makes it a lot more simple. And all these parts can be way thinner and have a lot less infill because, yeah, this thing is just extremely sturdy. The other thing is that in this old design, I have brass rods, bearings, and way too many screws. And that just made this thing way too heavy. So in the new one, we're gonna have no brass rods. We're gonna use carbon fiber arrow shafts, no bearings, cause it's only needing to rotate 90 degrees and it should be enough to just have it like a bushing. The other thing is we're gonna have one servo, which makes it a lot more simple a lot lighter, and I'll actually be able to make this thing the size that I wanted to do it originally. On this design, I want the wings to be on top because having them on the bottom caused a lot of problems where these gears would actually strip out because when you go to land, the wings will be out, and if you don't remember to swing them in in time before you hit the ground, they are likely to get stripped out. So with all that in mind, one servo, more simple, 10 times lighter, no brass rods, no bearings, less screws, tighter gears, wings on top, let me show you the CAD model I came up with. So here it is, the version two mechanism. And it was right next to the old one. I was actually hiding it from you in the last video. <laughs> so like I said, one servo, not two, less screws, much smaller, got holes all over the place to make it lighter. All these parts are way thinner. The gear ratio is actually one to two instead of one to three. So these are actually gonna swing out faster and it has smaller gears, which makes it lighter. With two servos, you have to have two potentiometers and I had to come up with this crazy, cool looking, by the way, gear system that made it a lot heavier that would turn the potentiometer here. So on this one, one servo, one potentiometer. Much simpler, much lighter, weight reduction, baby. So you might be wondering how I was able to just use one servo on like the two on the last one. On the last one, these servos directly drive the wings basically from these gear systems. On this one, the servo only directly drives this wing with this gear. And then to swing this wing, the servo rotates this pinion gear that has 10 teeth on the bottom, 13 on the top, and then that ends up rotating this 43 tooth gear which is just absolutely beautiful. I, this is my favorite part of the design. It just looks so good. 
um, you know, whenever you finish a CAD model, you gotta look at this thing for hours, you know what I mean? The other thing, if you look at it, you can tell there's no room for bearings, and also, this hole is big enough for a carbon fiber arrow shaft instead of a brass rod, which all make this part just so much lighter, smaller, simpler, and absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's go build this thing. is gonna mount right on the top of this. I'll design something that can just screw in right there. Yeah, it's based off of this airplane. I'm not good at math. Uh, and most of it is gonna be under camber. Way faster than the old one. That's why. 174 grams. Okay, for reference. Oh man. <laughs> the battery weighs less. 136. 185. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. About 70 grams without the servo. Wait, look at this. Oh my God. Whoa, it flies perfectly right now. Oh, dude. Oh, yo, that's sick. That is perfect. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I just designed the motor mount and this little washer plate for the screws up here so it doesn't dig into the foam. I'm powering the big servo with the 5 volt output of an ESC directly instead of through the receiver because on the last one if you moved it too fast if the servo drawed too much power the receiver would shut off and cut power to the airplane so yeah definitely a good upgrade here okay I literally just finished it boom it's time to go fly it looks so cool I was worried before I put the boat on there before I designed the boat that it would be ugly because it was ugly but this looks awesome like it's exactly what I envisioned so I have two hatches there's one back here the battery is literally all the way on the back because it's actually nose heavy which is a really good thing because you can always put weight way back here but it would be way harder to put a lot of weight up here if the back was heavy ah I can go fly it now like I don't even know yet <laughs> like, so I did some tests on the ground and it like Taxi's amazing, like with no wheels, you know, with the differential, it's amazing. Oh my god, I'm just procrastinating, like, I need to go fly. Dang, okay, let's go. I'm recording now. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can taxi on the ground.
Holy mackerel! Is it flying good? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing! That's exactly, <laughs> That's exactly what I said I was going to do. Did you see that? Yeah, that was freaking perfect. It needs more up. It needs more up. I can't believe how good that thing was flying. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh my god. Look at that. Watch this up. Vertical. Look at the gliding. Oh, it flies like. It flies awesome. Oh my god. Holy mackerel. Oh my. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, it flies perfectly. It's awesome. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty wild. <laughs> oh my god. It, it flies better than any airplane literally that I've ever flown. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> that was a good, that was it right there. Oh yeah. I thought you were going to hit me. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> Get a backup, you better not ruin it before you go to Floyd Fest. Oh, look at the airplanes up! Look at that. All right, let's go. 
What are they combating right now? Whoa! Yeah! We need a medic at the point line. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh shit! Wait, did you lose it? You lost it? Oh no! Somebody whacked me! No way! Oh my gosh! Yo! 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 Oh my god! Look at that! <laughs> it's cool. Oh gosh, it's flying. Yeah. Yeah. This must have been your second. <laughs> hey, oh, there it is. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I thought it twice. Come down, come down, come down. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh, that was so good. Oh, man. I thought it did That is what we call a pucker moment. <laughs> <laughs>thanks for making it to the end of the video this was I gotta say my favorite video to make film edit design it's just so much fun first off as you saw Josh Bixler flew this thing like what it was amazing flight fest was just so awesome the amount of people I met there everyone was asking me about my plane they filmed it um, that video should be up sometime um if you want to go see it go subscribe to flight test thank you flight test so much uh, i can't thank you guys enough that was just the most amazing experience ever and i'm glad josh liked the airplane as you saw in the video that was my favorite part so first off the last video <laughs> did so good i was not expecting that i was like oh maybe this one will blow up uh even before flight test gets to it uh, well, it did. It's at like 70,000 views right now, still going up. I actually got my 4,000 watch hours, so I should be monetized anytime soon now, which is a dream come true. That email is getting plastered to the wall right there. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for commenting on the last video. The amount of you guys that were saying that you were inspired by me just was amazing. I wanna to say to everyone, dream big. I hope that this channel can show you that if you spend time on something, if you have an idea in your head, don't throw it away, work on it. And I promise you that the outcome at the end, whether it's a failure or a success, will be the most rewarding thing you'll ever do. I can't explain to you how good it feels when I have a CAD model that I'm imagining in my head and then after hours and days and days and days and weeks of work it just materializes in my hand eventually and I'm looking at it and I think back to when I was dreaming about it at night and stuff like and then to my hands it's like it's 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 just incredible and I love it so if I can inspire you guys to do the same thing I mean that's the most I could ever ask for from you guys so thank you so much and I can't wait to see you guys comments for this video so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I have t-shirts now I know this is a small channel but I just had the image of a blueprint drawing of this swing wing airplane in my head on a t-shirt and I just had to have it if not just for myself so if you guys are watching to this point maybe you guys would like to support me this would be the best way Way to support me of all time so let me show it to you actually so if you go into my description eternalprogression.com here it is here's my store here's the drawing there's actually a couple easter eggs in here 361 sketches of my cad model this is how many teeth each gear has so 90 degrees sweeping i actually signed it this is actually one of my favorite things the v2 on the wing i just think this looks so cool and this was 
so much fun to make and design because whenever I see someone's t-shirt, you see this would be on the front and be like, oh, why can't they be on the back and then have the little name tag in the front or one that has big name in the front and something on the back. So that's actually what we did. We have tons of different variations of the same shirt. So this one has something on the back and a little pocket on the front. This one has the thing on the back and big name on the front. And then this one is just the name on the front, nothing on the back. And here's the one with just the drawing on the front, nothing on the back. We actually have a hoodie, a mug, a hat, different colors. Yeah, this was so much fun to do. And I really hope you guys like it. And like I said, I actually designed all of these in Procreate, as you can see here. Here's the blueprint drawing and here's my logo. I really like the blue shadow on the bottom and the white. I really like the way this looks. The next thing is I actually have an affiliate link. So you might have seen all the cool footage of on the airplane I had where the airplane's rotating but the horizon is locked and stuff. So that was from an Insta360 Go 2. Uh, I actually have an affiliate link in the description. If you want one of these cameras and would like to support me, buy it through the affiliate link and that would be a good way to support me as well. You can get the X3, the Go 3, and I actually got those too and I, and I can't wait to use them uh, in my next videos. Speaking of next videos, I have so many ideas. So as you see, this video was posted on Friday. The last video was posted on Friday. The next video will be posted on Friday. I'm gonna try to do weekly uploads for as long as I can do them in the foreseeable future. I have a ton of ideas just with this swing wing idea. I want to do a flying car. I want to put a rocket on it. I want to shoot it out of a cannon. I want to shoot it out of a slingshot. And please comment for any ideas you would like me to do on the swing wing airplane. I would love to do them. So please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell to see what I do next in my next video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.